Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So today we are going to do Browser Wars. I'm still getting a few things set up over here though because I had every sort of challenge occurred that would potentially get in my way of <laughs> doing this. And so I'm still setting things up, but I kind of want to get on time here. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Let me just uh, a few more minutes here to get my... Uh, OBS set up the rest of the way. So yeah, there were four streams on there because, well, for whatever reason, the thing really decided that it wanted um, um, it wanted uh, to not save, and well, it ended up doing four different versions. So hopefully, you figured out the one with the picture was the right one. Um, and then, of course, I had to switch distros because 10 minutes ago, I was going to do this on Ubuntu Bungie. But then I've come to the final conclusion, Ubuntu Bungie sucks. So, yeah, um, we're going to not do that one. Um, so, uh, the only other distro that I had capable of running this many things is Farron OS. So, although it's a little bit slower than I would like... We are going to be doing our browser wars on Farron OS, and it's not even installed, and that hopefully will not give me any issues. <laughs> hey, Chip, how are you? All right. Um, I'm just getting a couple more final things set up, and then we should be set to go. Uh, I think this one. And do, 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 do. Alpha OS. Hey, that looks right. Oh, really? Why'd you do that? Oh, boy. More stuff to do. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And I think we're pretty good. I don't know. Just give me a second here. I'm still, still working through my settings here. So I hope everybody's been having a, uh, a fabulous... What day is it? It's Tuesday, isn't it? Hope everybody's been having a fabulous Tuesday. That's how my day's been going. A little kind of creepy. Um, but this is the Browser Wars. I have installed so far. I have Chrome, Chromium, Firefox, Opera, and I think Vivaldi installed. I'm not sure what else. I will have to see. I, I have no idea what all's installed on Farron OS here. So that's kind of it. All right. So let's see... Hello, Ryan. Hello, Unknown Soldier. Um, do you like Don McLean by chance? Hello, NI. Dillonum, how are you? Okay, watching us on the phone, reinstalling Mint on the main. All right. That's the fun thing about Linux. You know, it's like you never know what somebody's watching it on because, yeah, I just had to change my operating system today, you know? But hey, Linux, you can do that, you know, unlike Windows. Of course, when Windows, when you have to reinstall that, it's like, no, I lost a week of work. We don't want that to happen, but anyway, um, we are going to be looking at browser wars. I have my list of web browsers here. We'll cover as many of them as we can, and uh, I really wanted to have a little bit more time. I thought like 30, 35 minutes would be plenty of time to prepare. No, not when you have to change the distro you're going to use halfway through. Um, Tom, I know you like to use Firefox, but it is the worst browser out there. Well, propose to me a better solution, please. Um, I, I agree, Firefox is getting bad. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the direction that Firefox is moving in. However, um, I still like it better than the other options. I absolutely will not use Chrome unless it's absolutely necessary because of the proprietary Google stuff in the back end. Um, just because it works perfectly doesn't mean I'm going to completely use it. Um, the other ones... Hmm? Maybe we'll figure out today. I'll, maybe I'll have a new one. Of course, Opera is out there, but uh, the problem is it has difficulties with HTML5, etc. And let me uh, uh, shoot a quick message to somebody. I forgot to tell somebody I'm on. All right. Um, all right. Let's see. I have my $1 doc to check the chat. <laughs> okay. Mosaic on 3.1. I don't know. I, I'm always fancy to Internet Explorer 4.0 on Windows 98 myself. But uh, Firefox, it's not slow if you don't put a lot of plugins and stuff on it. I haven't noticed any major speed concerns with Firefox compared to other browsers outside of, of running some videos and whatnot on, on a few other, other things. Um, let's see. Hi, Ryan. 
other Ryan. There's two Ryans on here now. Oh boy, I got the green Ryan and the purple Ryan. <laughs> to try Iridium Browser, that's not even on my list. Manjaro XFCE rocks. Yes, and Manjaro XFCE is pretty cool. Waiting on Firefox 57 to decide whether I'm just going to switch browsers. It's supposed to be a big improvement. I think that the biggest challenge I'm having with browsers, as I talked about on my uh, um, tinfoil hat time the other night, was the fact they're putting all this notification and location tracking and all, all this other stuff in Chrome, Chromium, Firefox. I hate that. And any browser that doesn't have that is, is that... Uh, uh, and that's kind of what um, uh, what I'm looking at. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, jump over here. I guess before I jump over here, here's the uh, Patreon name if you want to check out the Patreon channel. I have uh, kind of my schedule for the week up there, uh, what my proposed schedule is. Uh, I've heard of Iridium as terms of chemistry, but, you know. I love to use Firefox, but it's noticeably slower than any other browser on any OS. There's Opera, but it's a bit buggy on Solus. Yeah, I haven't noticed Firefox being any slower than than anything else, but I don't know. We'll we'll see. And then grab stopwatches when we open up web browsers. We'll have a look here. All right, let me find my distro. All right, so we are going to be doing this on Farron OS. So here I have Farron. This is running just on a live key, so this is not installed. Um, so, you know, I think it'd probably work a little bit better if I did install it, but I installed Budgie on here, but I couldn't install software. Software said it wouldn't work. There weren't any web browsers in it. And I just, I was just like, okay, you know what? I don't have time to mess with it. So <laughs> we're not going to mess with it. All right. So what we're going to do is just have a quick look at, at the different browsers I installed. Now, of course, um, this has, um, uh, the uh, Farron OS has the ability to install multiple different browsers. I'm not a huge fan of this particular interface, but here I have Firefox. I have Chrome. Oh, I do not have Chromium. Um, there's the Epiphany web browser. I, I've tried Epiphany before. I, I kind of I think that one's really slow. So let's go ahead and boot some things up here. Of course, I just installed many of these, so any introductory type things are going to happen. All right. I already have, I'm already being annoyed here by stuff. All right, um, Firefox, which one's Firefox? Okay, I'm pretty sure we're getting the key ring here for Chrome and Chromium. I hate this, it drives me crazy. It's like, um, no, go away. All right, make Google Chrome my default. No, no, no. Okay, now it loads up Google Chrome. No, I don't wanna sign into Google's, no, stop giving me pop-ups. <laughs> Fortunately, it doesn't do that every <sighs> I got more pop-ups. No, no. Any more? Any more? Any more? Any more? Oh, boy. Auto browser. I have not. We're totally unprepared today, by the way. Uh, otter otter browser no we are totally unprepared we're just gonna go ahead here and talk and chat and go for i don't know an hour or two i should have given myself a new cup of tea this is my cup of tea from when i was writing this afternoon it got cold and it's almost empty and uh i think the remainder of my coffee's in the other room as well all right so here we have chrome let's uh let's just kind of leave this open there and you know what let's not open every single browser all at once just because um i want to make sure you know we're going to do some basic test things let's go to a basic you know a start page let's see what happens when we type in the same stuff so all right so there we got start page that loaded up of course pretty quick let's just do a search for web browsers since that's what we're looking for see what we get all right so there's a, a quick uh, uh just a quick view how it how this displays of course on start page we have some some ad networks here which are hilariously google ads you know which is fun um, in Chrome, uh, we are in Google Chrome right now. Of course, Chrome, the, the major advantage of Chrome and the major reason you'd want to install Chrome on a Linux system is because it has Google's own proprietary codecs built into it. 
and that means that any type of DRM out there, you should be able to watch it if you have Chrome installed. So that's the only reason I would install Chrome on a browser is to do that. Now, funny little side note, FYI, if you happen to root your Android phone, uh, Netflix will no longer work on it. They are entirely going with Google's built-in DRM uh, system, which apparently is gone if you root the phone. So kind of funny little thing there. All right, so um, of course in Chrome and Chromium are gonna be much the same. We have our settings panel, there's notifications, there's prompts to sign into Chrome. Um, I'm never a huge fan of any of this. Now, it, again, it just goes to that, that model where, uh, just kind of goes to that model to where we, we look at, um, can you sign in, save all your information over there, and then port that to another device? I really do not need all that bookmark and all the other things ported to every single device I have it on, and I'd simply rather not um, not uh, have one more company tracking the things that I'm doing. So uh, that's kind of it there. So. Um, this is kind of, you know, inside of here, again, we get, um, we get the ability to, to log in, to, to sign in. We have our advanced settings. Here's your privacy where you can clear your browser settings. Um, we can remember passwords. Uh, you can set your, uh, uh downloads settings, all these basic things. Chrome and Chromium are going to be essentially the same. Um, so that's kind of what we get there. All right, let's have a quick look at our comments. It's like the comments feed's just going mad. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Oh, boy. Just trying to see where I get where I'm at here. All right. Firefox handles Flash HTML5 poorly, my experience. That's why I use Chrome. Um, let's see, Flash, HTML5, I don't know, I have not noted a problem with HTML5, Flash maybe, um, particularly on, uh, on Linux, um, with Flash on Linux. The problem is, uh, Flash is not updated on Linux anymore, so if you do want to do some, anything that's a Flash-enabled site, you probably need to use Chrome anymore. Um, but yeah, I've never noticed any, any speed issues with Firefox otherwise. Hello, Lamer Linux. Hello, Tommy. Uh, hello, UKB89. Have you looked at Otter Browser? I have not yet. Hello, Ralph. Didn't like like it, but Chrome is fastest on my machine. Yeah, for I like Chromium as my browser that's logged into YouTube, and I use Firefox for everything else. That's where I'm at. Keyring, part of Farron. Uh, that happened in your preview of the distro as well. Yeah, it depends on which browser you're opening. Uh, Chrome, Chromium, and um, Vivaldi will do the key ring. Firefox will not, and I'm not sure about the other ones. Yeah, I, uh, and, and on like on my actual production computers, I use it. I just wish it was like, okay, done. No, I'm not using key ring today. Just go away. But the problem is you hit the cancel. It just keeps popping up. It kind of gets in your way. How many browsers are there? Way too many. Um I'm stuck between Firefox and Opera. Firefox works on GTK. Opera is bad GTK, but Opera is lighter. Yeah, Opera is a much lighter system. The problem, again, though, is it just doesn't handle HTML5 well. Um, now, they are coming out with, like, a, a brand new version. And maybe it is already out. I don't know. I haven't been following the development of it, but that might be a little bit better. There's a fix to turn the annoying key ring off. Yeah, um... I could just sign into it also. I don't know. How am I doing? I'm doing well, Dominique. Thank you. Tea drinker. Yes. I drink coffee in the morning and then I switch to tea when my coffee is over. And you would be very pleased to know I have Yorkshire tea right now. Uh, make me seriously consider getting Linux. Thank you, Tommy. I'd encourage you to just take a look. Just test it out. Um, you can test it out on a USB drive. Typhoon with milk is and sweetener. I don't like sweetener in, in my drinks, um, but yeah, Typhoon's pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any Typhoon left. I finished that off. I still have the Yorkshire. A friend of mine uh, from Manchester brought it back to me uh, when he went, went home to visit. <clears throat> so I still have some of that left. Sadly, one of my tablets are rooted. No... 
Custom ROMs will have no Netflix. That's what, what I understood. I, I read the article. I will probably cover that in my weekly news this week. Um, yeah, DRM totally rocks, man. It's the best thing in the world. Used to use Google services like crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, frozen? What's frozen? Frozen hot chocolate? Yeah, I stopped rooting. Um, I, I rooted my first Android phone. I didn't root after that. Once they gave me the ability to go in and turn off apps I didn't want to be to use, that's when I stopped, stopped that. Um, laggy. Are we... Uh, Hmm. It's not so okay. Okay, I guess it's back to normal. I guess maybe maybe we lagged a little bit there. I I missed it. One of the downsides, like I wanted to use a, a lighter uh, uh, a lighter um, box here because Farron is quite a bit heavy. Um. All right. Okay. I guess I'm uh, I'm up there. I'm gonna put a little marker where I'm at. They, I think YouTube needs to fix the comment system. I hate the comment system. All right. Let's go ahead and boot up Chrome now, since I have Chrome installed. Um, again, every time you boot this up, you get this stupid key ring. No, go away. Any more? Anything else? No. I don't want to set Chrome as my default browser. All right. All right, so does anybody know of a good HTML5 powered website that I can go go have a look at? Um, I already looked at Chrome, didn't I? We're on the Firefox now, aren't we? Haha. <laughs> this is so totally impromptu. I wanted to be a whole lot more prepared for this one, but I just, too many things got in my way. Um, let me go back to the view here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so now we booted up Firefox. Now I'm going to go to startpage.com. Again, it's, you know, Firefox is, you can see it's not operating really any, any slower. Web browsers. All right, so here we get very similar results. Um, let's just open a few browsers up. Okay, so there it's, uh, I'll, I'll announce when I'm clicking and when the pop-up occurs. Click, pop-up, um, click, there's my pop-up, here's my click, there's my open new tab. So here we have a couple different browsers. Firefox, the first time you run it, you get the reader view guy. I guess, you know, this is another thing. Why don't we load up a system monitor? Um, uh, we're going to load up a system monitor. That's what I did not do for Chrome, is see... See what happens when we have uh, various various things loaded here. Okay, so there's Firefox. So we are right now at 165 megabytes on Firefox. We have one, two, three, four, five, six tabs open. Now some of this is going to depend on the the types of websites we have loaded. If they have a page that is not very well optimized, then um, it'll cause a lot of a lot of data leaks, things like that. Um, and unfortunately more and more sites as they just copy and paste scripts all over the place, we get a lot of poorly optimized things. All right. So we're pop-ups all over the place. This is like the internet's going to drive me mad. I know it. Go away. No, I don't want your uh, thing there. All right. Let's have a look at my system monitor again. We're at 181 megabytes now. So there's Firefox. Of course, with Firefox, you adjust your settings over here inside your preferences. I, I'm a little bit more familiar with Firefox's settings than I am with how, how Chrome does them. The downside about, uh, about Firefox, now the upside and downside simultaneously, um, is that um, if you really want to get in here and you do about.config, you can do all sorts of stuff, but you could like kind of kill stuff in the meantime. So if you want to disable JavaScript, it used to simply be a setting. You can now come over here and just run JavaScript. Just type JavaScript. You'll pull everything up. And what we're looking for is JavaScript enabled. You can click this and it'll turn off JavaScript. Um, if you want to turn off things like tracking, the geolocation, 
uh, the geo enabled, you can turn off your geolocation and you can turn off all your settings. Notice this PC web browser up here keeps on doing this. This thing's loading some stupid script that's being annoying. This site is really built poorly. <laughs> so that's kind of it. And then uh, what was the location one uh, or the notification one? Was it notify, I think? Yeah, the web notifications. Turning this one off here will turn off your notifications. Now, any of these guys here that are in bold means that it's not set, it's not the default. So that has been changed. Maybe in this case, probably by Farron has changed it. So uh, you can see that, that some of those things are in there. Let me have a quick look here. So here's your Firefox. Looks like we're peeking out at 185 megabytes. Okay, PC mag. Stop it. You're being crazy. All right. So there's Firefox. Um, Vivaldi is one that um, I have not had a chance to play with much yet. Uh, a lot of people have said I should look into it a little bit more. We're going to do startpage.com here. Let me uh, stop and have a quick look at comments. All right. Where's my spot? There I am. Okay. Because watching Tom's videos on Linux, maybe finally switch running Manjaro XFCE nine weeks now. That's cool. We still haven't gotten together for coffee yet, though, Chip. We're just a city over, man. <laughs> All right. For the first time, Linux user, if you want to try something that's stable and, I mean, really stable, use Linux Mint. Yes, I'm doing this video on Linux Mint. That's what I like. Now, a computer that can't run Linux Mint, Linux Lite is awesome. Yes. Uh, HTML5 test. All right. Okay, start page. I think somebody said that already. It's it start page is Google without tracking. I like the results I get on Google. I don't like the tracking ability, and so I use start page. Lewis Rossman uploads his videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second on YouTube. That could be a good HTML5 test. Hmm. <laughs> WebGL sites. Write some of these down real quick. Er. What's the other one there? HTML5 test. Do that, and then let's see. DRM, DRM put C4 in my house and blew it up. <laughs> Uh-oh. Arch loses me with its package manager app is much easier to understand. I, I agree. I like I like um I like the, the Debian branch for that reason. I just using the app is good. 260 to 300 megabyte Firefox to me. Yeah, it depends on what site you're running, um, things like that. I recommend Ubuntu based distros because Windows users are used to download and install EXE. So dot dev helps. Yep. Uh, Waterfox. All right. Valdi is basically chromium with a skin layered on it. Okay. Hit and miss or hit or mess. <laughs> Electrolysis on Firefox makes it go fast, huh? No, is that a plugin? Electrolysis is that a plugin? All right, let's go back over here. All right. So the the thing with Vivaldi that, that I think is interesting is is the sidebar here. It's a little bit different, um, and I'm not sure if it's like different in a good way or different in a bad way yet. I really think I need to work with it a little bit more just, just to see. But it looks like kind of like a, a more vertical toolbar instead of the, the uh, toolbar we get at the very top instead. Um, you do have the uh, you do have several different search engines. I did not get a chance yet to look in here to see um, how I can change my search engines. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm sure somebody uh, can list in the comments there how to do that. It might be under search. Yeah, here's add new search engines, and then I should be able to. Yeah, that's right. To add new search engines, we'll we'll add the search engines, and then just select the default you want over here. So Ecosia uses uh, Bing, and it uses Bing and uh, plants trees when you do so. 
So here we're going to just type in web browsers. This is uh, the, the uh, loader script at the top in the URL bar. That's kind of like uh, what, what Opera does where it'll kind of list all the resources. Okay, that's, that kind of drives me crazy. Um, I like it to load the tabs behind me. I'm sure that's a setting somewhere, but I don't like it when it automatically moves it over because I oftentimes will do research and I'm going to pull open a site and I'm just going to go into a search page and just open all the different sites in there and then sort through the, the good ones. And when it pushes it over into the new site right away like that, that kind of drives me a little crazy. All right, so there's about how many different uh, sites we had um, open on Firefox. Where's my, oh, did I close my system monitor? There's my system monitor. Uh, no. Okay, so you can see Vivaldi's actually running a little bit lighter. Let me scroll through all of these guys, make sure all the pages are loaded, but you'll see that it's running about 80 megabytes lighter. This does look like uh, a very comparable list of, of things that I had open. See here, it's uh, it's fairly snappy, jumping back and forth. Also, not too bad, being that we are on a live key and not installed. All right, so there's that. Let me uh, okay, that adds a new tab. Let me close these out. You know, I don't like. I mean, it might just be the theme installed here. I don't like the look of Vivaldi, but I mean, I'll have to play with it a little bit more. Let me come up here and look at HTML5 test. How well does the browser support HTML5? Let's see. Still running at 100 megabytes. Scores 517. Should we go back and do this? Uh, let's go ahead and do this on the uh, other web browsers as well that I previously looked at. So. We looked at Firefox and we looked at Chrome. Huh? Okay, Firefox and Chrome. Oh, Lord. No, go away. No, oh, stop. So Chrome scores 518 out of 555. What's it missing? Audio track session, video track, MPEG-4, H.265. That's surprising. Oh, Firefox, you're letting me down. Oh. <laughs> so it looks like uh, Firefox so far is, is losing the HTML5 test. <laughs> Record low, Firefox. Let's do Firefox. And I'm just going to write this down. So we can remember it later. Firefox is letting me down. All right, so 517. So, so far, what, Chrome was the highest, right, at 518, I think. Um, all right, so that's kind of not too bad there. All right, let's see. Thoughts on Solace? It's the only distro that handles HIDPI really well, I found. Um, you know, I have a couple videos on Solace. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head because of how many distros to look at, but just look in my video library for Solace. I'll give you my, my thoughts. Don't forget Otter. It is on my list. It is pretty low on the list. We'll see if we get to it. It's Vivaldi in this browser battle. That is the one I'm on right here, actually. Um, hello, Jake. I didn't realize you came a little late. But yeah, um, I'm just looking at Vivaldi now. Um, that? Yeah. I have no idea if I'm going to uh, get to all of these. Still laggy. I'm wondering if it might be laggy because of um, uh, because of the uh, uh, virtual box here. Because uh, Farron OS is 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 pretty beasty. It uh, takes a whole lot more system. Don't recommend using it to update. Let's see. Yeah, I might be a little laggy. I apologize for that. It's like running Andragos was hard or anything. I just couldn't get the Samba. Test. 
I received your test. I think for some strange reason you're buffering too much. It keeps freezing. Um, I'm not sure there's a lot I can do. I think it's probably Farron OS, I think, is what's causing it. Uh, let me have a look at my... Uh, main OS right now. Either that or my internet's just not working well tonight. Well, I'm only running 27% of my memory right now, so I'm not sure. It's uh, it could be, and my uh, OBS is, is telling me there. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm just my internet's being slow tonight. I usually don't stream this early. It's very possible that all the other people in the apartment are eating up some of the bandwidth as well. So I apologize if it's uh, if it's a little laggy, but like I said, I've taken off. I've done everything I can do. I think other than I, maybe I should have streamed this one in 720p, that might have been a little better. But um, I'm not sure. Yeah, apparently everyone's getting lag. Um, I'm not sure if I have a good good thing. Let's see. I'm thinking it's my internet. I mean, it's. I know my router's not dropping off. I'm watching my green bar. This thumbnail stream made me hungry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, those are uh, those are my famous browser cookies. I plan on making some soon. I've, I have on my uh, tinfoil hat time list to do a video about third-party cookies. I'm going to make those browser cookies again and eat browser cookies in front of you on a live stream. That's going to be horrible, I know. No, buffering wheel of death, that's not cool. Every once in a while, connection slows down, speeds back up. And yeah. All right. So there's Vivaldi. All right, let's see. Um, opera. No, I'm not sending information out. Now, is it buffering when I'm using the stream over here, when I'm doing comments? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. You know, there's something I can, I might be able to try here. Let me try something real quick. Um, nah, that's going to mess things up. No, no. Any more? All right. All right, let's open up a whole lot of these. So here you can see that I can much easier uh, open up all the different tabs here because it's opening the tabs behind me rather than in front of me. Hey, look, I got a notification. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, a few more tabs open. Let's see how the memory's doing. Whoa, holy memory hog, Batman. Why do we have so much opera going on? This is like singing soprano. <laughs> this thing I will hereby declare opera as being a memory hog. Um, it looks like it's opening a different instance. You know what other browser does this is Edge. Edge will also open a separate, uh, a separate instance in the memory for every tab. Um, it's very possible that what it's doing is it is virtualizing every tab, which may or may not actually help keep the speed going. Um, oh boy, should we read the privacy policy? We probably should. All right, so you can see here it's it's performing well. Um, even when we're getting pop-ups and stuff, it's uh, you know it's not performing too too poorly. Some people need to work on making their sites better. Uh, but in the system monitor, you can see that it is actually taking a whole lot more system memory. You know, so far Vivaldi, uh, the ones we looked at, Vivaldi, I'm going to say that wrong, I apologize. Uh, but Vivaldi, um, 
was only about 100 megabytes. Here we have, here's an instance, here's a 150, 140, 120, 130. I have no idea what this thing's doing, but it's just being a memory hog. Um, so there's that. But it is running very, it is very running very smoothly. The sidebar is pretty cool. Um, so that's kind of, uh, that's something there. Let's see, we're gonna close all the tabs out. And let's go with our HTML5 test. Oh, even this scores better than Firefox. This is crazy. Hmm. Um, is this a, is this a new functionality? It's interesting. Test. I received your test, Ryan. Want to share browser cookies? Um, hey, if you want to show up down here and we we'll do a do a live studio audience switch to Linux, we can do that, and I'll make cookies. That sounds fun. I made last night. I outdid myself. I made Snickerdoodle cookie dough ice cream. That's scary good. Is of course you know cookie dough ice cream rocks little chunks of cookie dough. And I made this cinnamon ice cream. I wanted to see what it was like to make cinnamon ice cream. It tasted like eating a cinnamon roll. So I thought, well, what if I dabble some cream cheese in there? And then I'm like, you know what? Snickerdoodle cookie dough. Let me just make snickerdoodle cookie dough, um, snickerdoodle cookie dough ice cream. Winner. It's a winner. I'm telling you. I need to open a store here, you know? Opera has native ad blocker. Yeah, um, which Vivaldi has it in, or v Vivaldi has it installed here. Epiphany, I think, has one as well. Opera has free VPN. That's a cool function. No pixelation or anything of that sort. Just as good, then gone, then back to good. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with my stream tonight. Being goofy. What's not supported? The, uh, like that for a week. Uh, Maxthon, it is down on my list. It is not currently installed. Um, I think like Opera was recently brought, bought out. Um, by another group and then they were doing a lot of things because it was kind of on the downside for a while So maybe that's why it's scoring so well right now um, Like I said, they have been doing some big improvements to it lately. I think that that's that's kind of what's going on there um, Pretty sure it's a Chrome thing Opera's drive from Chromium splits each tab functions in a different processes I didn't notice that on Chrome. Maybe I'll maybe we'll do that I don't think we looked at Chromium yet. So we'll do that when we pop that in Maxon dropped Linux a couple years back. Oh, did it? Okay. It's your opinion on Opera's VPN service? I have no idea about v Opera's VPN service. Ooh, it got bought by the Chinese. Uh oh. Don't know if it can be a trusted browser anymore. <laughs> um. Come by for free cookies. <laughs> All right. Woohoo. Sweet Tooth. Anonymous Unite. Yes. Live Studio Switch to Linux Visitor Episodes. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'll, uh, I'll let everyone know when, when the uh, studio's open, you know? All right, let's have a look at, um, let's see. I think I have Epiphany installed. I've never cared for Epiphany at all. I thought it was... I always thought it was very slow, but I've also only looked at it on elementary, which I never got good system performance on. Boot up start page. Okay, that did take a little bit longer to load than, than other things. Let's do web browsers. Okay, Epiphany's slow. I'll tell you that, it's being slow. Open new tab, click open, 
Oh man, yeah, this thing's uh, slow there. All right, open new tab. All right, now let's see the system resources here. Let's see if I can find it. There's Epiphany. It says it's only taking 52 megabytes. So it's not being a memory hog, but it's being extremely slow. So maybe it's limiting the amount of memory and it can use and just kind of working that way. I don't know. Um, now, that the, now that the pages are loaded, it seems to be doing a little bit better, but it just, it seems to take a long time to get the pages loaded. I don't like how it kind of, it, it's like the bar seems to, like it doesn't completely vanish, but you'll see that it's it's kind of harder to spot where the bar is. It kind of like does this edge thing and disappears on you, which edge, by the way, is not on my list. Oh, 386, we have a new loser. Good. Firefox is not going to be the worst browser of the day. Because <laughs> I like Firefox. <laughs> Hate me all you want. I still like my Firefox. All right. Um, let's see. Hey, Clayton. How are you? I'm going to be singing some Taylor Swift soon, Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> this will be my primary browser before it got bought. Dell desktop from 2005 with Linux Lite. Awesome. Sweet. Running it at the moment. Haven't seen anything unusual. I was just reading your message, Ryan. You retracted it on me. It's like somebody passing me a note in, in high school and taking it away before I can read it. I'm currently using Firefox, so sometimes it just randomly freezes. Opera VPN uses AES256 encryption. Hmm. Okay. My my uh, my VPN <laughs> encryption is like four kilobyte. <laughs> I went all out. <laughs> took me, I think, I only took took thirty six hours. I self generated the key. It took thirty six hours. <laughs> it's a little secure. All right, I think that is all of the browsers that I have installed at the moment. So let's see, um, let's not look at Chromium because I have so many other ones on the list and we already looked at Chrome, did Firefox, we did Opera, did Vivaldi, we did Epiphany. Um, I saw Otter show up a lot. We're just gonna go into the software store if I can see what I can find. You know what, yeah, let's see. Let's see what web browsers are here. Hmm, never heard of that one before. Quipzilla. Ooh, a minimalist web browser. I'm a minimalist. Let's use that one. Let's have a look at those. You know, this is troubling on me. Um, I went in here and hit the install and it never prompted me for a password. That's concerning me. Anybody else observe that? Um, it just it's asked me to install again. What's going on? Right, let's have a look at those guys, and then we'll go on to the internet, um, maybe? Huh. I don't know. I don't know where those went. Where'd those go? Oh, Quipzilla. There's one. Quipzilla. Search the web on DuckDuckGo. I'm going to DuckDuckStop, or I'll DuckDuckGoose, one of the two. Uh, let's do startpage.com. I've never heard of this web browser, but let's have a look. Oh, that's pretty quick. I spelled web browsers wrong, but that's okay. Yes, I do mean web browsers. Woohoo, PC Mag, West Web Browsers of 2017. 
Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I think we froze. Uh. She's dead, Jim. She's dead. Quipzilla. Well, it's at 200 megabytes right now, and it seems to have died. She's dead. <laughs> All right, that browser sucks. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Kill. Rad ROM. Rad ROM. All right. Well, that browser sucked. Um, Zombrero. I think I needed. I think I. Startup exception. Uh, that's a scary statement. Yeah, that was slower than Epiphany. So this is part of a QT browser, which works better on QT desktops like KDE. It's a lightweight browser. Well, it's a lightweight browser, but it was taking up more system memory than the other browsers we looked at, and it seemed to crash after four tabs. So uh, maybe I'll use it not on this desktop and see if it works better over on, like, KDE or something. Since Zilla is the name, it must be right. <laughs> Rip. Yep. Okay. Um, open link. Um, okay. It doesn't say open link in new tab. It's doing the same thing that, uh, what was the browser? Was that a, uh, it was Vivaldi was doing that. It's, uh, it's not allowing me to open to, to keep the main window open as we, uh, as we open it. Ah. All right, that's good enough because it's, okay. Sombrero, this one's taking a whole lot of memory, 278. It is a nice minimal web browser though. It is what it, uh, what it uh, advertises. The X's are in different places. It is what it advertises. It's nice and minimal, kind of out of the way. It seems, uh, it seems pretty slow, but. Let's do an HTML5 test, see what we get. <clears throat> Ooh, 319. Woo! We're going downhill fast. Uh, what was the name of this one again? Some... Yeah, what was the name of this browser again? I forget. I don't know. Zombrero. All right, it looks like now we have to start installing stuff. Um, let's use Vivali because it's on here. All right, um, tell me the ones that we should install next. I see Pale Moon Browser, let's hear. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're going to do Pale Moon Browser. <clears throat> Okay, someone help me out here. Am I missing something? Unstable mainlines installer. Um, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get this one running without messing with the installation. Let's see if it'll work or not. I don't know. Um, go away. I'm kind of looking for browsers that I don't have to mess with. <laughs> All right. 
<clears throat> gonna look at Otter. There's Brave. See what we get. All right, let's do Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with the installers. No, don't do that. Um, my files at downloads. If I can't get like a, a dev package or install it quickly with a terminal or something, I don't think I'm going to uh, test it. Um, uh, Maxthon drop Linux. <clears throat> All right. Not the README, the installer. You know, all I'm getting for my installer is the is the PM installer and the README. <laughs> I think I'm missing something somewhere around the line here. Um, and being as that I'm on a very buggy uh, a, a very buggy live key, <laughs> messing with it is. Let's see, run in terminal. Can I run? Okay. Um, Oh wait, hold on. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Okay, it seems to be it seems to be working now. Ripstrom, let's see. Okay, I think I have uh, Pale Moon downloading now. Let's use Pale Moon stop because it has inadequate HTML5 support for my needs. Uh, did the stream drop off? I didn't notice it, but I was staring at the screen over here too.
Hey, we got Pale Moon. Had to run it through the terminal, but uh, we got Pale Moon. Now... All right. Here we got Pale Moon. So, okay, yeah, definitely looks like a much older version of, uh, of Firefox. This is back when Firefox was cooler. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of how of where they're going with the direction. Seems to be working all right. Let's do web browsers. Open up a bunch of tabs, see what happens. All right. So it seems to be opening the things up all right. Um, no major complaints or gripes there so far. Sure, we'll get them. All right, system resources. So pale, okay, pale moon so far is the biggest one so far. It's uh, taking half a gig of memory. So it is hogging system resources. It's not running like it's being sluggish or anything, but it is hogging system resources. So we're going to run our HTML5 test. Four hundred. Well, it's better than Epiphany, but uh, not nearly as good as other things. But yeah, it's uh, it's not too bad. It looks all right. No, 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 no. I might, uh, I might uh, like that. Okay, can anybody answer me this question? What is the difference? Like, what is Firefox ESR? I did not get a chance to look that up. I know on Cubes, running Fedora, you're running Firefox. Running Debian, you're running Firefox ESR. No idea what ESR is though. Anybody? Um, uh, anybody from uh, um, uh, know, know that one can give me any insight there? That would be handy to know. All right. Okay. Delete those. Thank you. All right. Close that. Close terminal. All right. Did I ever end up getting, uh, let's see. Uh, Brave Browser. Did I look at that one yet? <clears throat> I'm going to get Brave right here, guys. I'm going to get Brave. Extended support release. Thank you. Mm, hello, Robert. How are you? Reconk browser. I'll put that on the list there. Try SeaMonkey as well. All right. Do I have to feed the sea monkeys? Hey, we got brave. Look at that. Uh, do not, not now. 
All right, here's the Brave browser. This is a cool looking start page anyway. All right, let's do startpage.com. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Web browser, I keep on spelling web browser. I think I'm spelling web browser, I don't know. I quite possibly am the world's worst speller. Modern computing causes people who can't spell like me to be able to write books. <laughs> 20 alternative web browsers for Windows you didn't know of. Well, I don't want to know web browser alternatives for Windows. I want to know web browser alternatives for Linux. Come on. All right. There's Brave. Whoa, Brave is doing the same thing that uh, Opera did. It's just tons of stuff going on. 340. Okay. So it's it's uh, it's responsive. It's um, it is quite responsive. This is actually a pretty good, nice, minimal browser. Um, it's very to me. It's uh, it looks just like Safari. As far as basic use functionality, that's what it looks like. I'm curious if the, uh, I close the tabs. Yeah, the only thing it doesn't do is Safari. Yeah, maybe it does. Yeah, Safari always uses the whole tab link up here. All right. Looks a lot like Safari to me. All right, um, now I need my uh, HTML5 test. No issues there. I had to copy paste something, so I don't have that in my clipboard anymore. Hey, 516. That's actually uh, on the on the positive side. Oh. Um. Can I use rain meter on mint? I have no idea. Be strong. Be bold. Be holy. Internet Explorer for Linux. Hey man, you put wine on the computer, you can put Internet Explorer 4, 5, 6, I mean, and they work great. I was even thinking of putting Netscape Navigator on there. That'd be awesome, you know. Yeah, Firefox does score pretty low. Not as low as some of the other ones are, but uh, um, it's kind of that. It's a lot of web browsers, yes. Tried Ice Weasel for Linux. Um, I don't think so. Is it on my list? I use Ice Dove on my uh, um, on my cubes. Netscape Net. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, some people weren't around in the '90s. <laughs> If you wanted a web browser that was not Internet Explorer, you had to download Netscape Navigator. It took all night to download. You literally started the download when you went to bed at night, and when you woke up in the morning, you would have Netscape Navigator downloaded on your computer. It was 15 megabytes. Crazy, but it was rocking. All right. So there's Brave. Um, Sea Monkey. Oh, Ice Weasel to be in Firefox before they move to ESR. Yeah, they're on ESR now apparently, because that's that's where I use it as is cubes. Uh, all right, let's see, anyone else? Holy Browsers Wars, yes. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Well, I downloaded it, but uh, it seems to have vanished on me. Show in File Manager.
looking into Sea Monkey right now. Sea Monkey has Firefox, but with a different look. Uh, I do not think I want to run through a big installer right now. Okay. All right. All right, other browsers we can be looking at. Sea Monkey's got a big, big installer there. Um, Reconk, we'll look at that. Um, all right, let's see what we get in this one. Uh, or build stuff. Does so anybody make browsers that you don't have to build? No, oh Lord, yeah. Oh, links, the text browser, woo! We don't need more texting, do we? Surf. Hey, there's a Debian package. Yeah. We got browser with a Debian package. Sweet. Dot deb all the way. Uh, NetSurf does, we do not have the correct, uh, we do not have the correct dependencies for that. So, I think Max stands out. <clears throat> All right, let's see. How about, um, We're gonna look into a radium. Oh. Uh. 
Okay, I don't like Ecosia as a as a browser or as a search engine. So Iridium, let's see, browsers based on the Chromium code base, all modifications, and hence privacy, automatic transition queries. Okay, so apparently a privacy-centric browser. Huh. Oh, oh Lord, highlight it all. Thank you. Jeez. Yay, Linux code. <laughs> Enter, please. Install. Are you alive? Interesting. Where do we get cut off? It's like I cannot install, I cannot copy all of the text. There we go. Now it's going. Try installing Edge under Wine. Hmm. Internet 1.0. Well, I don't know. We could probably try. Uh, we could probably try installing Wine and then install Internet Explorer 1.0. That'd be awesome. Kids these days in their tabs. <laughs> yeah, actually, when tabs first came out, I, I was like, I I hated them with an absolute passion. Um, which now I, I I mean I understand their their usefulness, but um, at the same time I. You know, I, I use them as part of an, an arrow in my quiver, not the all in, because there's times you need a different instance, there's times you need a different tab. And having them both is is uh, a good thing. Oh, we get the key ring again. How exciting. Uh, Iridium. So we're on Iridium now. So let's do startpage.com. No, I don't want to search from quant. Thank you. I think I would search from here. Totally spelled web browsers wrong. Can you guys hear that washing machine behind me? I think my neighbor washes clothes twice a day. It's actually a little annoying. And sometimes it sounds like the washer is completely out of control and going to kill people. Must be a Samsung washer knocking people out. Hmm. No, go away, Mr. Keyring. Go away. I just wonder what the Internet looked like. Now you know. Here's a picture of the Internet. Just so you know. Okay, so this one's not doing too bad. Seems fairly responsive. All right, system resources. Mine are Iridium, right? Okay, so we're getting the same same thing as as uh, some of the other ones. We have just have a lot of. A lot of background processes looks like each individual tab is getting its own uh, background process. So now we'll do a uh, HTML5 test. Whoa, sorry about that. I dropped my microphone. Ouch. Sorry. Five sixteen, so that's actually scoring pretty high as well. All right, um, let's see. 
Going for a little over an hour now. We've covered a lot of different browsers. We covered a lot of browsers. <laughs> we did. All right. Um, let's do a final catch up on the comments. We might just about wrap this guy up. Don't think Edge has an installer. Yeah. I think I missed some comments up here. Let's see. SlimJet is the fastest web browser that blocks all ads and protects your privacy. Let's look at that one. Ooh. Ooh. I get dead packages. You can tell you're a seasoned Windows user when you're excited to have dead packages. Shh, don't tell anybody. I want the rest of the Linux community to know. Yay, all dependencies are satisfied. Well, that's good. I don't need any children out in the street cold. I think I pushed install twice. I looked away. <laughs> hmm. Well, it said it was installed. Where'd it go? Oh, there we go. Found it. No! No more key rings. Ugh! Bing! Bing! Oof. You know, the thing that's concerning me on SlimJet is look at all of the crap that they have preloaded. Well, not only does it have Bing, it's like automatically a, what do you do? Stop with the key loader, key ring, all right. We have Groupon, does anybody use Groupon anymore? I thought Groupon was so 2005. I mean, does, I don't know. And, and I warn people never, ever, ever, ever use internet sites for coupons. Coupon websites provide more viruses than pornography, okay? Why is this on here? Here's the fastest VPN in the world. Oh, book hotels and vacations at booking.com. eBay. Let's shop at Amazon. Um, of course, uh, this is an Amazon Associates account. That's not, not a problem there. Oh, Lord. And then we get this Amazon toolbar. This thing reminds me of what a Windows computer looks like when a user um, has just unleashed the, their child in the corner with the computer all alone. It's like, it's it seems like it has a lot of junk all over it. Anyway, let's go back to startpage.com and let's go ahead and do our basic thing there. Oh, that's definitely not spelled right. 
Yes, I did mean search for that. All right. Let's see. It does seem to be to to be functioning very well. That's the the good news about it. It's just baffling to me that it's like an, an ad blocking system with like all these hardcore ad things all over it. <laughs> all right. Okay. System resources. Slimjet. All right. Eighty, and then we're just getting a whole lot more. Okay. All right. So that looks pretty good. Quickly jump back and forth. And let's do our HTML5 test.com, I think that was. 517. All right, so this browser is actually pretty good. There you go. The Ice Cat was an entirely different project alongside Ice Weasel. I don't know. There's some cold stuff over there in Debian. Lynx 2 has a graphical mode. All right. Saw tabs in Mozilla pre-Firefox days. I thought they were the best thing ever. <laughs> Iridium privacy browser. Reminds me of Brave. Brave is a privacy browser on Chromium. Yeah. I don't think Hedge has an installer. No, they have an app store. Ooh. Opera was my first tab. I miss Presto. I have Windows 3.1, actually. I'm online from an older PC with Internet Explorer 0.1 beta. That rocks. Shame Opera ditched Presto and went with Blink. Opera had IRC, Torrent, and email and text-to-speech. Does Opera still have Torrent? Um, I used to use it for that, but since I've been downloading a lot more distros, I just go ahead and use... Um, I just go ahead and use uh, transmission now on on Mint. Uh, links to graphic mode. Used to use a Chromebook, Gmail, Google Play Music, Hangouts, and then I went mad. Yeah, you would, especially if notifications turned on all of those. It's like bing, 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 bing. You're like, no, no more. <laughs> Dead packages rule. One package to rule them all. Now that's Cortana. That's you know what one one ring to rule them all. I will load everything for you, Dave. How's it you know this with such a high degree of certainty? Uh, how's it I know what with such a high degree of certainty? <clears throat> what ransomware? That porn had more basically local. Singles in your area ads than our pop-ups and sidebar ads. Oh, okay, well, I think if I'm asking, how is it you know this with such a high degree of certainty? Um, the number of viruses I have cleaned off of computers and being able to track back that it was actually coupon sites were putting the viruses on. That's actually how I know. Um, in fact, I do not recall anybody bringing me a virus to or a computer with viruses on it to remove viruses that I thought probably came from pornography. Number one has always been coupon websites, and number two has always been online gaming websites. Um, it's just from just from knowing what they're doing, because usually you can track back the malware to a toolbar, and the toolbar is a coupon bar, or the toolbar is a game bar. Um, that's how I know, actually. Porn has a bad name for all of the all of the the malware, but in reality, it's it's games, coupons, and things like that that get get more of it. <clears throat> Good day, Charlie. Sorry, we're wrapping this up pretty soon, but that's okay. I was freaked out when Google Ads had ads for my. Ooh, yeah, that's when you stop. <laughs> that's when you stop using Google. <laughs> I'm giving Midori and. Quip Zilla. All right. Ah, uh, I lost my place again. There we are. 
I go on Gallium OS on my Chromebook. Both seem slim, and so far Midori seems better. I like Qubit Torrent Client. Yeah, what am I using? I think I'm using Transmission. Yeah, I use Transmission default on um, Linux Mint 18. Opera scrapped the boatload of features when it switched to blank. Hello, Anna. How are you? Swapping from Windows 7 to Mint in a few weeks, waiting on a new SSD. Awesome. Yeah, I've been having a good time with uh, Ubuntu Mate. I've been doing uh, a whole lot of things. I'm actually down to, I'm down to only a couple. My sermon series, putting my sermon series onto my onto video, um, and uh, oh bummer, that one there looks like it got scratched up. Mm, I figured out. Um, but uh, I have done so many of them so far. I'm just down to three. And then the scanner works. I plugged the thing in. Didn't even have to install software. Scanner was perfect. But that's all on this hard drive here. My offline backup copy of everything else, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> Finally got this stream working on my new Mint. For some reason, it won't work on Firefox. Huh. Interesting. Um, is HAL installed? I, that scared the bejeebers out of me, by the way, when I had to install HAL. Like, no, no, no. HAL, I will not have this conversation with you anymore. <laughs> the coupon sites had more ads. Okay, yeah, yeah, I I, I reasoned that. All right. I'd fire, I had to Firefox to get this to work. It wouldn't work in Opera. Then I'm using uh, suction there. Okay. And a Windows systems I've cleaned and they're all I'll use IE oh come on. I'll use IE or Firefox Chrome with cookies on and scripts on and toolbars equal bad. Yes, toolbars equal bad. Whoever came up with toolbars, I'd like to find them and uh, um, have a, a very pleasant conversation in, in a dark alley with them. Yep. Viruses not ads. <laughs> yeah, what sometimes what's the difference? <laughs> Charlie Brown, dude, welcome. <clears throat> yes. Say so Firefox is the bomb for me. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I. Yeah. I'll. I'll get to my final conclusions if I ever get to the bottom of the comment stream. <laughs> did Gallium OS the only thing I did? Use the speakers. Actually, I'm happy with Chromium. Yeah, I. I can't say I'm. I'm having any problems with Chromium myself. Um, is transmission on different PC? Loving the web interface. Can't figure out how to install Mate to replace XFCE on Gallium. I'll go Mint Mate on the uh, yeah, Mint Mate, excuse me, on the gaming laptop. Hello, Damiano. Da Dem da yeah, I think so. Damiano, are you a friend of mine? I know I I know people with that name actually. Firefox a bit. You should do a scanner tutorial for Linux. Actually, it's a simple matter um, of plugging it in and turning on the scan utility, and it finds it. It's kind of funny. <clears throat> put the cookie down. No. I will not put the cookie down. I will eat the evidence. <laughs> Lost count how many times I've come across a system infected with AVG. Yeah, um, AVG was good back in the day. Um, but about 10 years ago, AVG was good. About five years ago, it ceased being good. And about two years ago, they started selling ads and tracking data. Go figure. Also looking for the guy who invented work. Yeah, um, actually, the guy who invented work, unfortunately, is God. So, um, you know, work in the garden was before the serpent was there. Just, just an FYI. Komodo does have plans to update for Linux. I mean, never know if I can trust Opera and their VPN as much as Firefox. I'm from up north Canada. Nope, you are, well, at least not one of the direct, direct Damianos I know. But do you know any Damianos in central Pennsylvania? I know of several of them. Now using Evolution email client over Thunderbird. It's better because it's easier, although I like K address book better than Evolution. But I'm solid on it for now. You know, I don't use the address book in Evolution. Um, I've just never been in the habit of utilizing the my address book linked to my uh, email clients. But I am using Kmail uh, or the, the the K contacts, whatever that one's called, on my uh, the K address book. That's it. On my Ubuntu Mate, I installed that so I can uh, keep a manual backup of all my copies for uh, contacts for my phone, and I'm loving that. That's awesome. 
of app developers will start writing apps for Linux, or at least for Wine when Windows 10S kicks everybody. <laughs> yeah, probably. Scanning tools comes with Linux. Linux Mint is too simplistic. Um, I don't know, maybe. I'll plug the scanner in here in a minute, see what I get. I want to eat that apple from that tree, you know. Whole Windows 10, yeah, addition is going to be bad when Chromebooks are growing traction. Work or Microsoft Works? Microsoft Works isn't that bad because, like, nobody knows it exists. I might have a copy of it somewhere. Doesn't give an option to scan photo on 300 DPI. I'm going to play with that. Let me, uh, I'm going to plug in my scanner. Hold on. My scanner actually doubles as a uh, Epson printer that doesn't work for printing anymore, but it's a great scanner. All right. Okay, so scanner is plugged in there. I think a lot of developers might write apps. Okay, yeah. You're a superstar in my eyes. Well, thank you. All right, we are going to, I think we are done looking at browsers, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut down Farron OS. That was, uh, that was a fun trip through Farron Lane. Oh, come on. Shut down. All right, cool. Oh, that's exciting. Um, yeah, okay, so I got a, a, a fairly uh, disturbing little thing. Let me find my uh, screen cap. There we are. Um, it was a notification. I'm not sure if it was because I'm on, logged in over here, but I got a notification that, hey, a new printer is available, and uh, would you, you know, you can use cloud printing with Google. Is that because I'm using this logged in? I don't know. I'm going to have to look. I, although I thought all notifications were turned off on my Chromium install. Let me go ahead and have a quick look at Chromium here, see what I get. All right. Okay, you, go away. Power off, thank you. All right, Chromium, you should have notifications turned off. Content settings, pop-ups, location, do not, notification, do not. Okay, so... I got a notification here on Linux Mint about the um, uh, about a new printer in Google Cloud, whatever, and that kind of is frightening to me. I'm gonna have to dig into that a little bit more. But anyway, the scanning utility. So I've never done anything with the scanner here. Let's have to find the scanning utility. It's under accessories, I think. Um, education, there we go, simple scan. So it is called simple scan, so maybe it might be a little too simple. Um, I usually use it just for scanning documents and stuff, but let's see what the options look like because I've never actually really come into here. All right, so here's your photo resolution. Um, so apparently I can, let's go ahead and, and give it a try. Uh -huh. All right, so I happen to have a couple things over there that I uh, that I uh, needed to scan. So I'm going to come over here and let me pull this down. We're going to scan photo, and under my preferences, I have photo resolution set to 300. So I'm going to okay, scan is set to photo. Let's see what it does. All right. Old MS Works was great. It did everything fine with less boat than MS Office. Tom and gang, anybody into 3D printing? Uh, I am not, although in uh, my town, there's actually a guy that runs free 
free 3D printing courses and gives you access to 3D printers downtown. It's kind of cool. Uh, I think 10s might at least have everyone switching over to Macs because they can they can uh, butt them in the shops. Yeah, which is true. I want to get into 3D printing though. Okay. Who knew we might see Ubuntu PCs? Yeah, I mean you could get you could get some com I mean, we just need a few of more of the mainstream PC manufacturers to start offering Linux and then. Um, that's what we need to do to get them into Best Buy and other big box stores. Old Inkjet uses Scanner too. My cat went missing. Oh, I'm sorry. I found her on Facebook. Oh. Oh. Boo! <laughs> Miss Conk, my dad got a lot of PS1 games from that place. Yeah. Didn't scanners die for the old fax machines? Well, I mean, scanners are still decent. That's actually why I still have it. It's just an old inkjet printer that uh, that doesn't get used anymore um, for that. Uh, let's see. Um, but it's actually, I love having a scanner around, especially for business. There's times I just need to scan things in. And right now, as I'm going through minimalism, like I have taxes going back to the late 90s. I'm going to scan all those digitally and throw the taxes away. All right. Um... All right. That's awesome, Charlie. Um, push that Linux. Push that Linux. All right, let's go back over here to our simple scan. Um, I've never actually, I don't use this a whole lot for these. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to copy, go crop this guy over. And... Oh, I guess I just have to, I guess what I have to do is just kind of do this, kind of keep that where it is and hit save, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Uh, we are going to save this on the desktop and we're going to call this postcard. This is one of those things I don't like about at least Nemo is, um, and I'd actually like to save it as an image. Let's go with a JPEG. All right. And my cat is being cute. I want to see if I can get him on picture or on camera or not. He's playing with a box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is our postcard scanned in. I open this up on GIMP. I'll come over here to uh, image and down to image size and let's scale image, I guess. So you'll see that it is sca it is scanning at 300 DPI. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's working just great. That's kind of kind of how that's working. All right. I have to work on Helldesk. Same thing, but most of my shops have Windows PCs. It's in a high school. I saw some, uh, like, cheap 3D printer videos online. Are those any good? I don't know. Ransomware thing, if anyone, if anything might get in business ways from XP and, and 7. Yeah, if you had uh, Windows 10, then um, you were not susceptible, or even a patched 7 or 8, you were not susceptible. So, Printer is a printer and scanner, photocopier, makes things easier. Yeah, I, I just, um, the, uh, I have separate ones because I keep my, um, uh, I keep my, uh, most of my printing is just done on a, a small business laser. Uh, the Epson is pretty much only a scanner. It doesn't work for anything else. All right. I think I've hit to the bottom of the chat. We've gone through a lot of fun stuff. I think that I am going to jump off here and uh, go make me some chicken. Um, sounds good. Um, and play with the cute cat because he's just being cute over there. Yeah, you. The whole internet right now is watching you, kitty.
Yes. He has no idea. He's just like, yeah, whatever. I'm just playing with a box. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, hope this was fun and informative. I guess my final conclusions. Um, final conclusions, I'm probably just going to stick with Firefox for now. It works, but there's a lot of other really good browsers out there. Um, most of them seem pretty good. Like Epiphany was pretty slow. Xombrero was pretty slow. A few other ones were pretty slow. Um, but that's kind of the final conclusion of the matter. Hi, peoples. All right. So uh, with all that said, um, what we're going to do is wrap up here for the evening. Uh, once again, if you want to help support the channel, you can find me at uh, Patreon at Tom M. Or uh, there will be an Amazon link down there at the bottom. I think it's already down there. So you can go ahead and uh, support the channel over there. And thanks for watching, everybody. And have yourselves a wonderful evening.